Welcome back to Cooking with Auntie Val. And for today, I'll be making some filet of soul, y'all. Okay, I'm from LA. And I used to love to get my fish from this fish place. It was called Fish and... Uh, let me see. London's Fish and Chip. And, oh, the best fish ever. But it was fried in like this certain type of batter that I discovered how to make. Using my Sprite soda. So come along with me guys and let's see if I can actually get this fish to taste like it used to when I lived in LA. Let's get cooking. Okay guys, the only difference is that they would use the Pollock fish, or Pollock, however you pronounce it, and I'll be using sole. Okay, it's still like a fillet type of fish and I don't think it will make that much of a distance, I mean a, a, a difference. So I'm gonna give it a try and see what I come up with, okay? So here okay, we go. guys, let's get started. This is my filet of sole fish already cleaned and ready to be cooked. And in this bowl, I have two cups of flour, I have a half cup of cornstarch, and I have uh, a half teaspoon of garlic powder and seasoning salt, and then I have an egg right there, and my Sprite soda. So guys, this is all that I need to make my fish taste like London, England's fish and chip. Okay, and then I also have an extra bowl of flour here because I'm going to do a little double dip thing that they do. So I'm going to start out with putting it in my flour and then letting it sit and then, you know, fixing all of this up and then uh, dip it in that. And then I already have my oil here ready. Girl, we, 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 we ready to do this. Okay, guys, so let me get set up, get everything together so I can show you what I'm talking about. Okay, guys, I don't think I mentioned baking powder, but I'll be, be using a teaspoon of baking powder as well in here, okay? So let me get busy, y'all. Let's get it going. Okay. First, we're gonna take our, we're gonna take our fish, filet of sole, and we're just gonna put a little flour on it like this, and I'm gonna lay it on here, okay? I'm gonna do as many as I can until, because it still has a little water on it and drain all the water off. So I'm just gonna lay these on here like this. This should be good, y'all. Lay this down like this here. And you know, I almost made my fish in cornmeal, but then I said, mm, you know, I would love to have some of that fish that tastes like uh, some, some fish and chips. Oh, I used to get fish and chips all the time. All the time, guys. It is really good. Oh, they used to have this other place it was called Puppin' Taco. Oh, I know y'all remember that. If y'all from Cali, I know y'all remember Puppin' Taco. Oh my goodness, that used to be so good. When my grandma would come home from work, she would always, she would call us and ask us, what your babies want? What y'all wanna eat? You know, because we didn't eat out every night. My mom cooked all the time, but she worked as well too. So we would, uh, my grandma worked and she would always tell us, you know, ask us, what do we want to eat? If we wanted some poppin' tacos, she was gonna get her son. So, ooh, talking about good. Yeah, that's old school too. You know, I don't know, I just be remembering so many, so much stuff that happened way back when. You know, I'm not that old. I mean, you know, I, I got the age, but I'm not that old. Okay, guys, let me get cleaned up here. And then let us get it going. Okay, let me heat up this oil, put this on medium, little over medium. Okay, and while that's doing that, I'm gonna take this, put this like this, set that right there. Okay, now it's time for us to get this a little bit. Okay, first I'm gonna mix up all the ingredients together so everything can be evenly mixed before I begin to Pour in my Sprite soda and my egg. So I'm gonna mix all of this up. Sit down. I'm just popping stuff all over the place. My ah, goodness. Okay, guys. Now, you know, I gotta whip up my egg separate and then pour it in already, um, already beat. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Okay, let's get this egg mixed up well.
Okay. And I'm just gonna pour this in here like so. Okay. Set my set my my spoon there and I'm gonna pop open this baby. Now, I'm not sure as to how much I'm going to put in here because, you know, you want your batter to stay kind of thick. So we're going to measure this stuff out. We're going to start off with a cup. Start off with a cup. Now I can let you guys know exactly how much I put in for the ingredients that I had. Okay, I'm going to need another cup. Okay, guys. Okay, I'm just gonna put two cups in there. Okay. And we're gonna mix this all up in here together. Y'all see how they look? See them bubbles? any stuff that's not mixed up, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. And by this being filet of so it shouldn't take very long for it to cook. Ooh, it smells good. I smell the garlic and the seasoning salt in the, in the batter. Okay, you know, I'm just going to put a little more, just a little more in there. I want it to stay thick, but just thin it out just a little. That was maybe a, not even a tablespoon. But I mean, you be the judge. Okay, guys, we're gonna check this oil and see if it's hot. It's not ready yet. When it's ready to drop them in there, I'll be Okay, right. guys, I thought my camera was on. I dropped my first piece of fish in. And it's what's the point of it? I just flipped it over. So we're gonna put some more in there. We're gonna see how it do, guys. <laughs> so I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. Okay. Had to give me a glove because this is like a little thick here. I don't want all of this on the hand. It's like I got nails in it. Okay. 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 And because the fish is filleted, it's not going to take a lot. It's going to get brown at this point now. <laughs> it's going to look so good, y'all. Okay, put a small piece in here. Put that in there. This is about ready to come out.
last of the fish. And then once all of this is done, I'm gonna pop in me a few onion rings. Mm, might as well, I don't want no potatoes. You know, girl trying to, trying to watch her health. I shouldn't be eating fried food, period. But it's okay, this is just, that's the only downfall with this fry because it's fish, you know, so, and it don't have a lot of salt on it. I only seasoned the batter, so yeah, I should be good. I'm only gonna eat a couple pieces, you know, for me and my son and one of his friends. So yeah, we should be good. Okay guys, when this is done, then I'll show you the onion rings, okay? Uh, the fish is all ready. I, this last piece, I, I got a little distracted, so it kind of like, you know, got a little more gold and brown, if you know what I mean. Nothing is burnt though. And these are my onion rings, guys. So I'm about to take these little babies out. I only have a few more left in here to put in there, guys. Okay, and we'll be ready to eat, to make my salad. Ooh, I can't wait, y'all. There you have it. Guys, if you enjoyed yourself with me today and you like how I do what I do, you know what to do. Come on back and join me again and bring your friends and your family next time, guys, okay? And enjoy the rest of your day. Until next time, bye.